off, congratulations on being open for five years. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's, it's, you know, being open five years now at Mike's Bike Park is, is pretty amazing. Um, I think, you know, it, the people that were here from the very beginning will, will all tell you that the park looks completely different than when we very first started. I mean, every down to the ramps that are built, down to the retail area, um, down to how much community influence we have. The last five years have been really amazing. It's, it's on one hand, it's a whirlwind and it seems like it flew by really fast. And on the other hand, it feels like it's been five years just because of the amount of work and the amount of time and effort we've put in. But it's, it's great. I, I feel phenomenal to have been able to be in the bike community here at Dayton um, for the last five years and look forward to five more after this. You know, my views on the bike world, um, are, they've definitely changed a bit from the time that we started or you know the time we were planning Mike's Bike Park. You always, you know, hope for the business to be successful and, and go through some planning stages. But I think one of the, the best things that came about that was, you know, maybe not necessarily a, a big surprise, but a little bit of a surprise was just how close knit and tight the cycling community is. There, you know, you are dealing with people that love the sport, that love having a great time, they love family, they love being outside, and they're a great just group of people to be around. So it's that part of it has probably been one of my favorite things to just see that whole community always coming together, always supporting each other. And it's, um, uh, you know, it's one of those pleasant surprises that you come along um, when you open a business, you go, oh, that's great. All of these people are awesome. And I just want to keep helping them be awesome in the cycling world. I think one of the biggest surprises, you know, when we first opened Mike's Bike Park is we, we were ready for it to be a bike park, you know, come in and ride and, and have fun. And certainly we still do that. But one of the biggest surprises almost immediately was the, the customers were being underserved um, as far as the retail end of things. Um, we would have customers come in and they would need, um, you know, all kinds of various parts or different things for their bike, different clothing, different, you know, just about everything that you think about when you're going to be riding your bike, even if you're not riding inside here, you're just generally riding. So it, it was a big surprise kind of how, um, how many customers really reached out to us and said, can you help support that end of things? You, you've got this great place to ride but we are having trouble getting the product that we want or we're having trouble finding you know, a shop that can repair bikes fast enough so that we can still get out and enjoy it. Um, so we have vastly expanded the retail area here at Mike's Bike Park um, from our opening. Um, the, the initial pictures are kind of fun. It's just a tiny small shop, a couple counters in it. And now we've got, I, I don't even know, we've got 15 or 20 counters and we have you know probably 5,000, 6,000 square feet of retail and space. Um, so it's really great to do that and, and absolutely is you know going forward, it's allowed us to prepare for the second shop opening as well. So we've got the new shop in Huber Heights opening up and that is again, it's coming from a place where people are just in need of someone to take care of them as a cyclist, you know, provide product for them. Um, provide service for them and, and be a shop for them in a, in a slightly different community than, than Dayton, just a little bit north of us. So we're very, very happy for the new shop and, you know, at Mike's Bike Park to continue doing the retail end of things and, you know, giving people on bikes that they love and helping them love their bikes. What does Mike's Bike Park mean to me and kind of its impact on the community? That's, that's a really good one because I think in my mind, that's the most important thing that we do. The, the most important thing that we can do here at Mike's Bike Park is be a place that the entire community can come and, and feel like there's a shop that'll take care of them. I, I know I've had personal experiences with shops where, you know, I'm, I'm never going to win a triathlon and I've, I've been, you know, kind of shunned at different shops. Um, we, we are not a shop at all where we are trying to, you know, kick people out for different things. We are the most inclusive shop you can possibly think of. Um, any shape, size, color, religion, whatever, we are, we are all there to help you. We, we just want to provide a place where people can enjoy their bikes, they can be taken care of, they can be respected and, um, you know, get them out and be, be happy on their bikes. Um, whether that's, you know, uh, little tiny kids that, you know, maybe are uh, just, get, they get a flat riding around their neighborhood. We want to be the shop that can take care of them. 
Um, we work with a lot of different community partners, um, a lot of different, um, you know, organizations that are in need of, uh, you know, bikes being repaired, whether it's the police, um, we do several different police forces help, you know, maintain their bikes, um, whether it's different nonprofit organizations that then donate bikes to kids that are in need, we take care of a lot of that. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that happen behind the scenes at Mike's Bike Park um, that nobody ever knows about, but it, it helps us keep doing our job of supporting the community. And that, that's really what we're all about, you know. The last thing I want to do is be so worried about selling a bike and that you're only going to ride here at Mike's Bike Park. That, that's the opposite of what we want. We want to, you know, hopefully help you find a bike or some gear that you can use here, you can use at any of the local, you know, bike parks, you can use it in your neighborhood, you can travel around and, and you know that we're going to support that and we support you um, in all of your cycling endeavors. So yeah, the, the community end of what Mike's Bike Park does is, is so important and I'm so happy that we can do so much. Um, it's, it's really great to be able to provide all those services to the community. I guess in closing, I just, I definitely want to recommend everybody come down to Mike's Bike Park, uh, kind of see what we're doing, see what, you know, what happens every day here. Uh, we are definitely a place that produces smiles all day long. We're definitely a place where everybody can have a great time um, and enjoying their bike or their scooter, their skateboard, that type of stuff. So um, I guess, you know, I would just recommend everybody comes in and says hi, even if you're not going to buy anything, just stop in and see what this place is. It's kind of a unique place and uh, something that, that we would love to just show you around and um, hopefully help you out in anything we can do. So we'd love to see you down here in Dayton.